Yeah, of course. One. One. Two. One. 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 <laughs> okay, perfect. Yep. Yep. Uh, hi, I'm Henrik. And I'm Pasi. And we are from Sonata Arctica. And you are listening to Radio Metal. Well, they seem to know the songs because they're singing along, so I think it's going well. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's all you know. And of course, when we uh, mm, we have meet and greets every day, so we meet some of the fans and and hang out, and people seem to like it. But then, uh, yeah, you never know. But uh, but I think the best uh, the best way to measure it is when you see live, and if people sing along, then maybe they like it. And so far, that's the feeling we have, at least. Yeah. Unless you feel the fire. Winter night. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not a winter person, and I've, I've never been. So, uh, I think, uh, of course, it's fun with a little bit of snow for a short period of time. But uh, where we live, it's uh, the winter's quite long and cold, and uh, I prefer the summer. So uh, I'm not looking too much forward to it. But uh, of course, now when uh, we are on tour, so we get to skip a little bit of the beginning of the winter. And then uh, at the end of the winter, we're going to be in South America. So I think we're going to manage. Yeah, I'm a summer person as well. And I also lived in Spain for a while, a couple of years ago. And uh, But uh, <clears throat> uh, where I live in Kokkola, we have actually <laughs> real short winters. Uh, usually it's like dark and no snow and wet and like that. But uh, in springtime there is a really nice winter, couple of weeks. That yeah. that's the peri- period I like. Mm, Tony had been saying for some time that uh, he would like to use a photograph uh, as a cover, and then uh, I was just browsing the internet and I came across this news about a guy in Finland who have won a competition, and so I went to check uh, out his photos. Or well, there were some photos in the article, and I w- then I went to see see his portfolio, and he had these pictures that we are using now, and so I'm not sure where he took them, <laughs> but uh, but then uh, Tony got into contact with him, and and then uh, worked together to to do some brush ups on the photos, but they are pretty much or- original stuff that was done before we even knew about the whole guy. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, the original, I mean, the cover photo was actually taken during the day, and then he has just edited it to make it look like a night. So. The original is a daytime photo. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, I think uh, at least what Tony explained was that like the whole song is like a thank you note to the people who are staying at home and, and running the show while we are away. So, but uh, yeah, it is kind of like a lullaby. I didn't think about it before, but. Good point. I understand completely because yeah. uh, for me, for example, if I find a new band, then I hear, hear a certain album. It might be in the middle of their career or in the beginning or or uh, present or whatever uh, and you hear the band and you get excited about them and then that uh, that stuff that you first listen to that's the stuff how you like the band to sound and then you go back and discover some earlier albums you go like oh this is totally different i don't like that or or the other way around you listen to the first few albums of a band and then they change and you don't like it sometimes they change and you do like it but, but still i mean i understand that and uh Whenever a band progresses and changes, some people are not going to like it, and some people are going to be really happy about it. Mm. So, uh, you know, I, I, I like to focus on the positive things, and and if somebody uh, complains, I understand. The f- first few albums are still there; you can listen to them. It's no no problem, you know. But we have to keep this interesting for ourselves as well. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. Me, 
Mikko has been uh, a live front of house mixing engineer for us, I think, since 2011, 12. Well, yeah, and I think he knows the best how the band sounds when it's on its best, like yeah. on live situation, and he knows what we can do together on stage. And uh, when we started to uh, plan this new album, we wanted to bring hi- him in, and we actually played live in studio. Me and Tommy uh, yeah. played all the songs, and Henk and Elias w- was playing along, and some of the parts are there, and some tape. Yeah changed or yeah. did whatever but so shitty we had to do it again <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, basically the album is played live in studio and Mikko was like a producer and he knows what what works and what what doesn't yeah what doesn't yeah because when we play together something happens and we wanted to capture that and yeah. we have been trying to do that for the past few albums and now now we finally decided okay we try to play it live yeah. and it is harder but but then it it has a different feel But then when you play now live, you don't have to worry about playing everything exactly because you don't recording. And also when you bring in the audience, then you get the whole other kind of yeah. energy. <coughs> like if it's just us playing, then it's just us playing. So even at its best, if something is missing. But then uh, when you bring in the listeners and people are there and screaming and yelling, it gets to a whole other level, I think. Yeah, yeah but uh, for me, when Tom is playing next to me and it's loud it's really loud yeah, so that loud. gives the punch to to my playing as well yeah, yeah i think they like in the mm, studio yeah, when you guys yeah, played together yeah. also it sounded much better than if you play separate yeah it was a lot easier now to to learn uh, to play the new songs live because they we felt like we already did it yeah, yeah. yeah it's really nice to be back in France and uh, it's been almost 20 years I think since uh, the band was here the first time and it's been really great for us over the years and we really appreciate the support and it will be a year or two before we come back but uh, now we're doing two shows and oh no it's actually more uh, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah uh, yeah it's uh, I, at the moment we feel just uh, really grateful to be here and uh, I'm sure we're gonna have a blast tonight with all of you guys <laughs> Unless you feel the fire deep inside